Today we are building a modern shelf that looks super clean and stylish and the best part, you can use it anywhere like living room, office, bedroom, it just fits perfectly. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nice Tower. If you love clean design ideas and modern furniture modeling, make sure to hit that like, subscribe and turn on the bell because I've got more awesome projects like this coming up every week. So we are starting with a rectangle 1800 by 1000 millimeters. From the top, I copy a line down 600 millimeters and type X2 to create three equal spaces. Now I select all trees and copy each by 20 millimeters just to give a clean frame gap. Then from the bottom line another 20 millimeters copy. Next I select the top and bottom lines again and copy 20 millimeters and do the same for the middle part. I select this line and take another copy at 300 millimeters and I do it for the middle part another 300 millimeters. From these lines, I take another copy at 200 millimeters, again 20 millimeters, and for the middle, I do the same. First, 200 millimeters, again 20 millimeters. Once the layer fills balance, I group everything just to keep it clean. And now from the top and bottom, I mark 100 millimeters. I draw a line here and take a copy of it for other parts. Now I clean up all the extra lines. This is where the shape really starts forming. Next, from this side, I mark 400 millimeters and also 10, 100 millimeters from top and bottom. Then draw a square. Offset by 20 millimeters. Delete the middle surface and turn it into a component. Delete the extra lines. Now I mark 300 millimeters from the top. I draw a rectangle 20 by 400 millimeters. Select all and make it a component. Now I select these shapes and take another copy of it for the bottom part. Select this and take another copy of it for the middle part. Also from this shape I take another copy. Now that everything's in place, I clean up all accessory edge so I can extrude it smoothly. I delete all these lines. Also, I delete this part. Also, I delete this part and now I extrude the main surface by 250 millimeters and thin layers by 20 millimeters, giving it a layered, realistic look. Some other shapes get 250 millimeters. Again, and for this part, I extruded 240 millimeters. Mm. 
For materials, I'm using warm wood for the main body and shells. I apply it for the main part and also for these shelves. I use matte black color for the decorative details. It gives that perfect modern contrast, warm and dark, glanced and elegant. And here it is, a modern decorative shelf that fits laterally and space, simple geometry, clean materials and just enough detail to make it stand out. If you enjoyed this design, drop a like and tell me in the comments where you'll use this shelf in your living room, office or maybe your bedroom. And don't forget to subscribe because in the next video I am designing another piece that matches perfectly with this one. See you there!